Hi everyone, uh, before this awesome haunt that you're about to see starts, I got some exciting news that I want to share with my, all my viewers and uh, is actually directed to the non-resident and if you're, if you're a resident and you got family and friends that that's no, not considered resident anymore, uh, they can get it on as well so you got to help me share this as much as you can. Let your family know that's the way. As you can see, I got uh, eight videos here. There's eight DVDs uh, that I've produced over the years. I've made an awesome agreement with Black Ridge Outfitters that every time someone purchases a DVD, uh, your name gets put in a draw for a free hunt here in Newfoundland with Black Ridge Outfitters. And you can pick whatever year it is you want to come up here to hunt. It's got to be after this year, it won't be this fall, but 24 on. I, I'll have all the information added to the description of this video, just in case you can understand my <laughs> new needs, I guess you'd say. So all you gotta do is send me an email at uh, nlmoosant at hotmail.com and just let me know how many DVDs you want. Like I said, every time you buy one, if you buy 10, your name gets in the draw for 10 times. And uh, make sure that you add your full name and phone number and your complete mailing address to the, to the email. Share it, uh, tell all your buddies about it, and uh, see, who, see who can win this uh, free on up here in Newfoundland. So good luck to everyone, and uh, thank you very much. Jarrett was saying it's got to be a different bull, and yes, he was right. The, the bull that we seen down by the river, he made noise, but this thing, when he scraped his antlers on the trees, so we knew that he had to have huge boards to, to make the sound he was making. I just wish that my description of the situation we were in, all you viewers could understand and, and get the feeling of it, but because there was so much cover we couldn't see no more than 100 yards and we knew that the moose was there somewhere but they were just caught up in communicate with one another and not uh, really responding back to us like like you would normally see a moose do and uh, oh just trying to get in close enough to see him was just a battle and it was gonna gonna pay off like we we really thought this was a big one but it was a chance that we would never see them because there was just so much forest, so much trees in the way, and that we would scare them before we got even close to even be able to see them. Then Jared, with a little different angle than me and Russ, seen the trees shaking, and finally we knew roughly where they were. So <laughs> it was uh, it was getting pretty intense right now. We could see the trees shaking there and uh, we could hear them grunting and for a second it sounded like he was coming straight toward us and then all of a sudden it was dead quiet like he's, going, like he's leaving. Oh, it was so hard on the patience and the nerves but we just wanted to start walking straight through the woods but uh, usually uh, what I've learned is it's, it's better be patient and just, just wait it out so that's what I was going to stick to.
Jared behind was filming all this and uh, thankfully he knew what he was doing and every time I was straight that's when he would make a step forward to use it to cover it the noise he was making so that, that was great <laughs> to have somebody behind me knowing what they're doing is, is a bonus that's for sure Finally, I got a look at this rack, and man, it was a beauty. So I just turned it to uh, Ross, get ready, he's a shooter. Just like a ghost, a cow popped out of nowhere, so I knew that the bull wasn't going to be very far beyond. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, he's beautiful, Francis. He's bigger than big. <laughs> that cow. That's a big frick out of <laughs> Did he go down right there? He's right there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe it. <sighs> you were, did you see him? Yep. Yeah, oh, my God. God. Where to God, he's 72 inches. <laughs> I, I hope so. Oh, he's a beautiful bull. Beautiful oh, he's bull. Huge. Yeah. He's got paddles like oh, boards no, like yeah. that line. Yeah. It's cow. You see the oh. cow. Oh my god. You gave him the nod on it? Yes. He did have to. Okay, here comes the Mr. Seymour and his son. To his first First moose, right? Yes, sir. And he's a good one. Down in a hard spot, but. <laughs> oh my God. Look at the girth on that. Try to turn that around now. Yeah, oh right. My oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked, oh. wicked. Wow. Look at the fronts on him. He's, that thing is. You got to spin it around for me. Yeah, how are we going to do that? You're going to fight with it, but you got to do it. Oh, my God. Look at him grab that horn and flip his head up. Oh. No, hang on. Let me get around. 
<laughs> Watch your fingers. He left his nose straight up. So. Oh man. Oh, 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 oh. Boys, are you happy or what? I'm happy. <laughs> this ain't or what. Okay, I want you to, I want to try, try and, try and uh, clear all this trees from his face before he starts counting points. I want to try to get all the little points. Have you seen the back side of this? Yeah, it's like, <sighs> it is that thick. Wow. If I said no to that and we walked away, I can't get my hands around him. Holy smokes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm glad he went down right away. Yeah. It would have been better if he had ran to the boat. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, let the guessing begin. Well Congratulations, done. buddy. Well done, Dion. That's great. Thank yes, you. Dion, thank you. No problem, I that love it. That was patience beyond patience there. Okay, we got them all propped up, laid nice and pretty. And uh, we've got a better look at them, and I want them to recount the points for me. All right, starting from the bottom. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Perfect. <laughs> 2020, right? 2020. 2020. Awesome. Okay, we got to clean this up as fast as we can before it gets too dark and get back to the boat. Congratulations again, Mr. Seymour. It's been, it's been a great time. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Dion. Yeah. No it's problem. been awesome. Morning of the next day, pack time. I'm gonna bring her down to the canoe, up the river to the boat, back to camp. Mule team. Back in next morning. Gonna do official measuring. Whoa, that was width. It's not a liar's tape, it's the real tape. Okay. Just cut the first three inches off. You got it? Yeah. 62 and a 16th. 62 what? even. You want to go take a look? Yeah. Come on, zoom in here. You're upside down, is it? <laughs> it's upside down, but... Yeah. Got her good. Perfect. <laughs> One, two, three. And below if you want. Yeah, there you go. And the same thing on the other side. How does that feel? Here we go. 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 Okay, shut it off. Now you guys can take it. <laughs> Monster bull. I suspect this bull is a uh, a bull that we've seen last year and, and we didn't get them and you can see the footage of them on my channel and the hunt is called McMillan Monster Yukon Moose Hunt number two. Got the first canoe load loaded up and headed it upstream. Okay we made our way back to camp. Uh, uh, everything went well so anyway the boys decided to stick around for a few days their hunt uh, it's a 10 day hunt so they can stick around a little longer if they wanted to so uh, I think it was like this is only like day three or four I'm not sure exactly now anyway uh, they want to do some fishing and stuff and uh, which is fine with us we they these guys were great uh, great to deal with and uh, uh, excited to be around so which made it a lot better so uh, one morning I decided to run down the lake early to check one of my trail cameras and you remember the small bull that we seen in the river just before we got uh, Russ's moose uh, well actually it was just two days after 
this bull went like 12.5 miles and I seen him in the shoreline uh, trying to get around a cow uh, I guess she was in heat but didn't seem like she was interested in him but I got some amazing footage that I want to show you take a look at this it seemed like she was doing whatever she had to do to get rid of this bull and if it meant uh, going in the lake to up to her neck and swimming she was going to do it but obviously this bull wouldn't take no for an answer and was going to go wherever she went to try and uh, you know get in close to her but she heard me and uh, the bull seemed to be oblivious to me but it's, they knew the cow and calf knew I was over there and was just trying so hard to see me I was kind of hiding a little bit uh, behind some trees on the shoreline along with the bull harassing her and now that she knew I was over there she wasn't sure what I was uh, if she had her way she would just leave the area and uh, go somewhere else but uh, this bull just wouldn't give up and <laughs> as, my, as many times as he, she tried to get to the shore she, uh, he would always stay into the left of her and, and cut her off and follow her as she traveled on by the shore trying to get into the woods uh, that's up to their left but uh, this bull just wouldn't give up it was just amazing to watch She thought she had uh, this all figured out and knew how to get rid of this bull by turning around and going back the opposite way, but <laughs> this bull had uh, other plans in mind. It began to rain pretty heavy there and uh, I just couldn't stop filming. Uh, I was getting soaked, but I kind of shelter my camera uh, with my jacket just just to get this footage because it's something I've never seen before I guess it's okay to be persistent and pardon the pun but I think this bolt has gone way overboard <laughs> I thought right here, finally, she, he was going to leave her alone, but <laughs> was I wrong? She made it to the nearby trees there, and it was only a minute or so, and they were back out in the lake again, just like deja vu all over again. Take a listen to this cow. She wouldn't now only upset with the bull, but by the sound she was making, uh, <laughs> she was pretty upset with me as well. I think if I couldn't see these moose and I heard these sounds, I think I would have went back to camp and said I heard a, heard a bear for sure. There was very little wind and of course I could see what she was trying to do. She could see me, but she couldn't smell me. She was trying to get uh, in some place that uh, she could smell me so now the bull can clearly see me and uh, <laughs> seemed like he was trying to invite me to come out and join him but no, I don't think so <laughs> up to this point I don't think the calf was uh, making any sounds at all but finally Seemed like she wanted to give her opinion of the situation. <laughs> Take a listen to this.
speaking from a <laughs> a man's perspective, um, <laughs> you would think that this bull would have all interest lost by now. Uh, I don't think this water is very uh, comforting. Uh, they've been in there for, I don't know, 20 minutes at least now. And it's not like a July uh, summer day at all. So uh, you think that he would be uh, of all interest lost. And my guess is uh, the cow was open the same. Just for fun, I decided to try and respond to her with the same calls that she was making to me to see how she would react. Oh. <coughs> <laughs> I think I left the poor girl more confused than ever. Well, it looked like there for a moment the bull uh, had enough of this and was going to go look for greener pasture, I guess. Uh, but as the cow started making her way toward the shore, <laughs> the chase was on again. I know this is a, a lengthy video of a, of a certain scene, but I hope I don't lose the viewer's attention. But this is just something that you don't see every day, and I'm trying to uh, show as much as I can, just so that you can see uh, uh, what goes on in, in the wild. <laughs> I thought for sure this was going to be the last time I was going to see him, but no sir, here we go again. You might be getting a little bit tired of this moose chase, but uh, just keep watching because it's going to get better. Just watch and see. Cal seemed to be really concerned of what I was, and uh, she didn't forget me. And uh, for the last time, she come out and tried to get wind of me. I don't know how good you're going to hear it, but uh, you can hear the frustration in the sounds he's making. Not only with the bull, but uh, also with, with me as well. What happens here next? Uh, I would never ever guess. Uh, I didn't dream that the moose, uh, or uh, especially a bull, would be the way you do. I know this is just a guess, but you could almost hear her saying, just leave me alone. Oh. 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 
Did you just catch that? Did you just see what the bull actually done? I'll play it back in slow motion just for the for the people that didn't notice what what happened. Yes, you're right. He actually hits her with his antlers. Why? <laughs> it's beyond me. Well, it finally came time for the boys to leave. Uh, they had a beautiful day to fly back to Whitehorse. Uh, I think they were going on happy hunters, and uh, oh, I'm sure uh, we've got memories made that it's going to last a lifetime, and. Uh, uh, we've been staying in touch, that's for sure.